Welcome to Art Beats. This is Susan from the Community Library of Allegheny Valley. Today we will discover yarn paintings of the Weechel Indians. The Weechel Indians live high in the remote regions of the Nayarit Mountains of western Mexico. This geographic isolation has allowed them to retain their culture and spiritual traditions in the face of colonization. Direct descendants of the Aztecs, the Huichol Indians create brilliantly colored yarn paintings. The yarn paintings portray the Huichol belief that people are connected to nature and all living things. They are not purely decorative objects. They are purposeful and very important to the Huichol people. The Huichols believe it is their duty to take care of the earth because they depend on it for survival. The designs and symbols used are based on their myths, stories, and personal daily activities. These yarn paintings are known as Nirikas. Let's learn about this unique art form. Beeswax is melted in the sun and spread over a piece of wood. Colored yarn is pushed into the wax to create images. These works are used to express stories and relations with the spiritual world. They include common symbols such as sun, moon, deer, snakes, and flowers. They are always highly stylized and sometimes quite abstract. Here are three examples of Weechel yarn art. The Deer God Weechel yarn painting by unknown artist, Nayarit, Mexico, around 2007. Yarn pressed into beeswax on plywood, 12 inches by 12 inches in size. Symbols included in this yarn painting is a deer, snake, cactus, candle, and arrows. Cubano al Venado. Huichol Yarn Painting by Jose Luis Gonzalez, Nayarit, Mexico, around 2005. Yarn pressed into beeswax on plywood, 12 inches by 12 inches in size. Symbols included in this yarn painting is the sun, a deer, birds, corn, arrow, a shaman and his wand, a candle and gourd. El Aguila, Huichol yarn painting, an unsigned piece, Nayarit, Mexico, around 2009. Yarn pressed into beeswax on plywood, six inches by six inches in size. The symbol of an eagle is shown in this yarn painting with white clouds. Notice the halo-like effect achieved by using a contrasting or complementary color of yarn to outline a shape before it is filled in. The Journey of Tenori and the Blue Deer, a Weechel Indian Story by James Andretti, illustrated by Maria Hernandez de la Cruz and Casimiro de la Cruz Lopez. This picture book is a retelling of a traditional Weechel folk tale and is illustrated with traditional yarn drawings by Weechel artisans. It explains who the Weechel people are and the symbolism of the images used by the artist. I was able to order a copy of this book from the library. Our at-home art activity, inspired by the Weechel Indians, is a yarn art project. Materials you will need. Cardboard, about a five inch by six inch to seven inch by eight inch piece. White glue, yarn in a variety of colors. Bits and pieces are fine. Scissors, pencil, paper. If you want to practice sketch an image first. A toothpick, craft stick, or Q-tip. Paper towels to wipe glue off your fingers. It can get messy, so I like to use both a damp and dry paper towel. 
The example shown on the right is one possible design you can follow. Getting started. First, cover your workspace area. Second, decide on an image. Use a pattern you like, something from nature, or a symbol of something important to you. With a pencil, you can lightly sketch your design on the cardboard. Third, choose yarn colors. This type of artwork is known to be colorful and detailed. As you go along, use scissors to cut and snip the yarn into manageable pieces. Fourth, begin to outline your shape with the yarn. A tip, keep in mind to use a different color for the outline than what you will use for the inside of the object and the background. Fifth, apply glue to the outline of your shape on the cardboard, then place and press down a piece of yarn. If you have several shapes, work on one at a time. A tip, remember to leave lots of space in between the pieces because yarn is thicker than pencil lines. Sixth, after all shapes are outlined with yarn, you can begin to fill in your objects. Start from the edges and work towards the center on one small area at a time. Seventh, apply glue, then fill in all available space with yarn. Tap into place using your finger, toothpick, or Q-tip. A tip, be sure to flatten the yarn as you work and make sure no background shows through between the yarn. Eighth, after all shapes are filled with yarn, you can begin to fill in your background. A tip, choose a contrasting color for the background, working on one small section at a time. Start from the edges and work towards the center, continuing to glue each of the pieces of yarn to cover the surface. Ninth, let dry. This does not have to be completed in one sitting. You can let sections dry before adding more. And 10th, this takes time and patience. Your reward will be creating an awesome work of art. Be sure to show off your artwork. You can choose to keep it simple with a single design or include multiple images that tells a story. The brilliantly colorful and detailed yarn art of the Weichel Indians is truly amazing. Thank you for joining me. See you next time.